Hello Manchuria community, welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Philip Miller, one of the developers of the operating system. And we got a lot of uh, requests to have Manchuria easily installed on a USB stick. But it should be persistent, your configuration files should be present there and highly modified. So with the Manchuria tools it's not possible to do that, so we have to go a different way. We researched the internet and found a tool called Alma, the Arch Linux mobile appliance tool. So let's take a look in this video. First what you have to do is uh, create an uh, image file. In this case we use a 10 gigabyte of size and simply start the process. So what does Alma? Alma creates first uh, the partition table and then installs a base system. The base system has the normal system, the Linux uh, LTS kernel and some base uh, library and uh, applications. So it's a total of 158 packages so far. And with this you have the small Linux operating system based on Manjaro. After uh, the installation of the packages are done, we will uh, then configure it. The configuration of the packages itself happens uh, right after the installation of them. And then we will create the boot kernel, which is in this case the 5.450 release. This uh, came out uh, a couple days ago, so it's a pretty current version. And then we create uh, the locale, create uh, the init RAMFS, so you are able to boot your USB stick to that maze minimalistic Manjaro installation. After the configuration is done, we will install the bootloader. We will install it for the legacy systems, so you can boot that USB stick on any BIOS-related uh, machine from the 80s, the 90s and the early 2000s. Additionally, we will install uh, for UFE, which is uh, all the new hardware, like the latest Ryzen laptops, Ryzen CPUs itself and the latest Intel platforms. With this done, we can then simply mount that created image file and give it a test drive. So let's do that. First we mount that image, then uh, we will check uh, if it's still on the loop device 7. It might be at loop uh, 9 or 10 or whatever so in this case it is a loop 9 um, based on that we will mount it and start it with armor using QEMO. QEMO will be our test machine so we don't have to install it yet on an hardware and as you can see here it takes a while to start it because the system has to boot up. And here we are. So uh, simply log in as root. Root in this case has no password and you can do whatever you like in that new base system. So let's, let's say we will update the system. So pacman um, syu for updating the system and as you can see it's uh, it's totally uh, consistent. In the later video we will go uh, into a profile so we have here a simple toml files we can use to add a desktop environment to it like uh, KD, XFC or GNOME and also we will show you how to uh, get everything done. So till the next video.